The department must be ready to meet and keep pace with our competitors, and if necessary, to fight and win the next war, and not the last one. And that's why this budget stays true to our focus on matching the, pace, the pacing challenge that we clearly see from the People's Republic of China to include more than $5 billion for the Pacific Defense Initiative. And I would just add that our China Task Force has also completed its work, and yesterday I issued an internal directive kicking off several department-wide efforts that will, among other things, help bolster our deterrence against the PRC and revitalize our network of regional allies and partners and accelerate the development of cutting-edge capabilities and new operational concepts. We are in an era of increased strategic competition. The current strategic landscape is witnessing rapid change and the potential for increased threats to the peace and stability of various regions and, indeed, to the world. States and non-state actors are rapidly transforming technologically, and we are bearing witness to a fundamental change in the character of war. In particular, China is increasing its military capability at a very serious and sustained rate, and we must ensure that we retain our competitive and technological edge against this pacing threat, as Secretary Austin has directed.